are on the road to Fort Beaufort. It's going to be about a 36 kilometer drive from Adelaide to Fort Beaufort, all tar road. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Fort Beaufort. I've heard stacks about it as well. So, and our, our, a very good friend of mine comes from there. So yeah, oh, really? I look forward to it as well. Great stuff. Fort Beaufort. Indeed, and we're crossing the Cut River. <laughs> I read it was officially named to Koma Koma. Two months ago in March. Only two months ago? Yes. Wow, so this is not Fort Beaufort anymore. Huh. That's what I read. But I'll just stick to Fort Beaufort, see? No, at this stage, yes. The CBD. There we go. CBD is busy. It's a Friday afternoon. Telling you. You can see it's bustling there. Eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Spy. Hey. You spy, I see. Too. Goodness me. Wow, sir. What a church. St. John's Anglican Church. Yes. It's rather busy. That you can say. Again. Are your generators running? Do you? Yeah. You know the first thing I check? And this? What is this? Another church. The robots are not working in a definite giveaway. It's a Methodist church. Literally a hospital. Yeah. For Beaufort Library. Oh, they got a big and modern library. Yes, eh? look at that. Pretty busy here, hey? Yeah, I'd say.
like how you say the towns are small. <laughs> but then they like crazy busy. Yeah. Well, I always thought they were small. Is it the police? Yes. That's for sure. That was the cut and now we're exiting Fort Beaufort over the brack. Wow. Does the brack river have any water? The sea doesn't look like it. Not neither. It doesn't, eh? No, nothing. Look at that old bridge over I there. I see that. Our eyes are wired the same. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn around here somewhere. Immediately quiet as you get off that main road. Oh, yeah. That's just too crazy for us. Is this the Motello Tower? No. Yes, the Martello Tower. Look at this building by it. Yeah. Community services. Oh, look at this place. This is amazing. I want to tell you about it. Yes, tell me. In 1839, the British commenced to work on what is probably the world's only inland Martello Tower, a small circular Napoleonic area design hitherto used only in coastal defences. Wow. The tower was completed in 1846. Today, the original howitzer remains mounted on the roof on a traversing carriage that gives it a 360 degree field of fire. The tower has been restored after having served for some time as a public latrine. How good is that? Yes. But so, where's the howitzer? No, the yeah. howitzer's not there anymore. How's this building? I was lucky to have taken a screenshot of that, but there's no current signal. I was looking up how it's a... Oh, it's load shedding at the moment. Can you hear it? I heard it with all the generators. I wish I could get inside of this thing. Hey? That would be incredible. Just to see what it looks like. It looks like this on the outside. Do you remember we saw um, above the Martello Tower sign, we saw a um, military hospital yes. sign. Do you know where that is? Not an idea. I wonder if this could be it. It wouldn't surprise me because this could be the military hospital. Does this look old to you? Definitely. Look at those decks are rotting away. Those wooden decks. So it wouldn't surprise me that this is the military hospital. It says here, which is very interesting, that Charles Henry Somerset, first British governor of the Cape Colony, authorised Governor Sir Benjamin de Urban, 
construction of a fort at the site of the original blockhouse after the Six Kosa War. The new buildings included a military hospital, guard houses, infantry barracks, and officers' quarters. And then they did the Martello Tower. Okay, so this must be it. Then this must definitely be it. It, it sounds like there must be more buildings, which are probably no more than. That's possible. There's some buildings at the back there. No, one also doesn't know how big the grounds were at that point, right? Yeah, it must have been huge. Because if we go down here, we get to the Fort Beaufort Hospital, which I saw as we turned down here. What this is, is this? the maternity ward. So the hospital already starts here. But this doesn't function anymore. Oh, it doesn't look like it does. Hey, there's nothing wrong with this facility from the outside. But maybe this entrance is just closed because there's satellite dishes and everything on there. If we continue, we'll get to the hospital. Okay. Here, it says Fort Beaufort Hospital. Oh, so this must be the hospital. Baby friendly hospital. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the security. Yes, this is the entrance, right. It does look like the maternity ward is empty. Yeah, it does, eh? I saw sta things stacked on the inside. Yeah. All right. Hopefully we can happen upon that, that military hospital. That'll be interesting. But I'm sure that was it where we were. There were the Motel Hotel. You think so? I think so. Back then they didn't build sprawling hospitals. They just built the building to be the hospital. You know? Oh, we're talking a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Mobile clinic. Nice. Did you know it's a, a London Missionary Society town? No, I didn't know that. Is that how it started? Yep, established in 1816 under Reverend Joseph Williams. And it was in 1840, the village was already called Guama Toma. Oh, okay. But the British named it Fort Beaufort to honor the Duke of Beaufort, father of Lord Charles Henry Somerset, okay. first British governor of the Cape Colony. So the British named it that. Fort Beaufort. Yes. Huh? Let's go and see if we can find Victoria's Bridge. Victoria Bridge. Let's do it. That sounds very cool to me. Bridge Street. Bridge Street. There we go. What? Is this an old bridge yes. now? Yes. Boards destroyed, yeah. Look at these trees, boy. Yeah, over there. I think it's the cut careful. Room. I wonder where this road goes to. Do you think this is the cut river? I think so. Yeah, maybe we could get a little bit of a view yeah. over the town. Mm. 
Agricultural High School, Winterberg. Fantastic, look at that. Let's take a drive. Or are you scared the gate may yeah, close? If the gate closes, then we're stuck. <laughs> yes. This gate will be open in the following hours 13 until 14.30. Okay, okay so we're all right for we're that. Okay for that. Let's do that. That is interesting, hey? Very. An agricultural school. Sprawling place. Well, it has to be as agricultural. Yeah. I even saw a sign in the front that said farm trading hours. <laughs> so I wonder if they must probably sell produce and stuff. Oh, yes, yeah. I thought that. live in the houses yeah, groups of students and I suppose lecturers teachers most likely because I'm sure over there is where the school itself is that looks to me like classrooms yeah because there's tennis courts everything. nice I get the vibe they came out already maybe yes. early on a Friday because I suppose they all go home for the weekend on farms, the farms and stuff yes. look at their stands yeah, this, this back of this wall looks like an old shooting range because we used to have a shooting range at school. Well, I wouldn't surprise, yeah. be surprised here, right? No, oh, definitely. The rugby a few field. boys running around. I love it. It's a water truck. They got loads of stuff here. Look at that. Yeah, I'm glad you're turning up here. Winterberg. It's an extensive facility. Majorly. Majorly. Love that. It's just one chap training. Oh, is it one boy? Oh. Yeah. I see they're putting up new fences here. Yeah, I see. Tennis courts. Yeah, they are going strong. Basketball, netball. netball. Yeah. No, this is fantastic. It's a big place. Love it. Another rain meter. About the same amount of rain in. <laughs> oh, the rain is crucial here. Yeah. yeah. Cattle grazing in the nearby fields. Yeah. Very appropriate. Yeah, check him, he's taking his training seriously. Looks like he's crossfitting. Look at the sheep there on the far corner of the rugby field. Oh, yeah. There they are. The walkers won. Oh, they're organized. Do you think that's part of it? Don't you get the idea no, that that's separate? No, definitely part of it. I think so. Look, there's Winterberg sign on that door there. That's true. Another tree 
rich town. Yep. Here, this side they messed with the trees a bit. Yep. <laughs> I like it. Cattle grid. Great. Bit of a gravel road, had to take that. a major role in the frontier wars by the sound of things but the history is just too long oh uh, okay look at the train tracks yes i saw them so i thought let me try and follow them oh do they have something to do with us being on this gravel I road i think so yes well i don't think so i know so <laughs> these are modern places yep yeah. that every single place we visit there are people living working <laughs> going to school it's just incredible doing their daily life bridge that we're going to drive under yes but it goes over the river as well how fantastic is this these are always so cool to oh, see the steel structures those rivets are incredible Put a date on it. Oh, wow. oh, look at that stone. 1930s. You think? Oh, I'm guessing. Look at those huge stones. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm saying. And it's got wooden sleepers across the bridge. There's a little pathway. It's steep. You yeah. see chance. Yeah, of course. Anytime. <laughs> have to take a walk up here to go and look at it. Look at this. Fantastic. Incredible. Absolutely stunning. So nice to see these places. Yep, time to go. Look 
Terus raja And these rivets are incredible This is cool Oh, very nice Imagine the two of us freaking out if a train has to go over there. Oh. When we there. Oh no. I will just flip. Listen, we have to take the road back we came, so I'm gonna go through underneath the bridge again, why not? Why not? use it as a through way I would I would say why not it's just a, a bridge standing here not being used anymore so and there is place to walk on it yeah no absolutely as long as they don't damage it yep which it looks like they're not look at this mm. they're still working on it yeah oh no they're not they're she's just sweeping oh it's pretty good He's fairly busy here too. Yeah. Here's a church. Oh wow. St. John's United. Okay. They take very good care of their churches here. Oh they do. In the Eastern Cape. Must be maybe a hall. One premises. There's another church. Another one. What does it say? No, can't see. Look at this place. Oh, it burnt it's gutted. Down. The, the nun's, nun's court. court. So does. Do we then think that might might have been a Catholic church? Must have. It must have been. This must have happened recently. This must have happened recently. This looks so recent. This stone was laid by the right Reverend Monsignor Fagan, November the 18th, 1908. I wonder what happened. Absolutely terrible. See all the beams have collapsed on the inside. It's locked, one can't get in. So I just spoke to a lady who walked past here and I asked her when did this happen to this building? And she said it happened last year sometime and it was a gas explosion. Someone left gas open and it blew up. And um, apparently there was a lot of people that were working somewhere that it wasn't for the nuns like we thought it at this stage um, there were a lot of foreigners living here and they unfortunately had their money stashed away under their beds and it um, was all burnt up so all their money and everything that they, that they owned burnt up as well so that's terrible but that's a story I was told so I have to justify <laughs> I don't know how accurate that information is but it's so sad it's such a beautiful building now, if there's something i don't like and it's a beautiful building like this being gutted by fire i almost can't look i find it very very sad wow. it's been standing since 1908 
So Yana breaks my heart that Savoy Hotel. Looks quite smart yeah, at the Savoy. It does, eh? Listen, I saw it once and I didn't think of of anything of it, but yes. when I saw another one, I just have to share. Okay. The first hair salon was called God's Plan. Okay. The second one I saw was called God First. Wow. So, um, the hair salons, they feel very religiously about. Okay. Post office? Or Beaufort Post Office. This is Telcom. It's quite a big building, huh? Yeah, it is. Mguenyeni Flat. You see, this is also the Matoma route. Yes. After the chief. That's the flat. Okay. Just flats? Yep. They get their own board, they're special. <laughs> Psychiatric oh hospital. Oh boy, so many else burned down here. Yeah. Is this also burnt? Oh yes. Oh, come back to this now. Whoa, is it? Those are things get burnt down here, yeah, eh? What is this though? I'll go around the front now and have a look. Huge. Yeah, massive. something special I can just feel it yeah I couldn't resist it I had to come back I want to see ah, what this was I know me too and this is old if you look at those foundation stones so Do you know my angel we still haven't found that military hospital could this have been it? I don't know. You can see all of these buildings are old, eh? So she says it used to be Tower Hospital, Psychiatric Hospital. Just look at those roots. Roots, yes. Insane. She says this was Tower Psychiatric Hospital. Yes. They moved further down the road. Hopefully we'll get to them. Okay. That's social development. And this in front is Sasa. Okay, these buildings are old. Look at this. They do look old, hi. Hey? Definitely old, definitely. So we did see the board that was pointing to Tower Hospital. She says, and she says it's been many years. Yeah. She doesn't but you know can what see it's happened. Been many years because it's like overgrown with plants and stuff. Even the surrounding wall looks old. Yeah, definitely does. Tower Hospital. that intake of air for the single lane bridge. Yes. Right. Well, I'm glad they have a new facility. I'm glad they have this bridge. Otherwise they would have had a problem. Yeah, they'd have to go over with canoes. Um, canoes? Check these massive trees. Them. They would have had to swing on ropes. Yes. <laughs> okay, but here you can see security He's is uh, heavy. Yeah. Yes. Beware of bees. Notify allergies for bees. <laughs> if we entered these gates, we would have had to tell them. Yes, definitely. So we can't go into the hospital. Not that I wanted to. I just wanted to go over this bridge. I know. We all know. <laughs> you 
be happy to know they're playing tennis yes, it's at good the to tennis see. courts. Fantastic. So we just saw a sign now driving up that this before it was the Tower Hospital and Sasa and all of those places, these were the infantry barracks. Oh, wow. Especially this part, yeah, I think. Yeah, definitely. It's a pretty one can't get in here. Eh? And then I suppose then it became the Tower Hospital. It stood empty probably for years and years and years. Then it became the Tower Hospital. Yes. Interesting. I'm so glad when we can solve a mystery. Yes, it's nice that we could figure yeah. it out. Woodock. For wood. But tell me, this is where it gets made? In Fort Beaufort. Is this all it? Yeah. That's incredible. Oh, I didn't know that. There are so many nice buildings abandoned here. Eh? I wonder what this could have been. The power, uh, electrical power thinks that might be municipal. Yeah, I think so. tracks in Fort Beaufort. Yes. Hey, look where we come out. Mm -hmm. I must say the nature is beautiful, yeah. That is no lie. So we saw this sign. Hi there. Good and you? That's good. So we were speculating where the museum is, but yeah, they renovated the whole museum. But it's only opening in September, so I'm not allowed in. But it's going to be nice to come and see what it looks like one day. That's awesome. So you and I were speculating which one is the museum. Luckily she came and opened up just so I could quickly take a few shots yes. of the... Museum. She says it's opening up in September, but they're almost finished already, so it might open before. So we got our answer. Yes. Fort Beaufort has a Martello Tower. Did you know that? I do. <laughs> I know that now. I, I didn't do. know what a Martello Tower was in any case. I say it's the only inland one in the world. That's quite impressive. That's fancy, eh? Yeah. I'm impressed because I saw a hospital, a psychiatric hospital, and we now passed a TB hospital yes. on the outskirts here. I oh, think that that's fantastic. It is incredible. And then that infantry barracks that burnt down, which used to be the psychiatric hospital. No, Fort Beaufort was a very interesting visit. Yes, it had a lot of interesting things to yeah. offer. Enjoyed it. <laughs>